Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Good morning. Morning, Billy. Morning, Jennifer. Morning, Jasmine. Courtney. Phelan. Jonathan. Good morning. Nope. No mask. Um, I did a face reveal. Uh. Uh. Probably about a year ago on Twitter and I did a face reveal on Facebook a week or so ago. So good morning, Jason Moore, good morning, Debbie, good morning, Wyland, Billy. Uh, good morning, good morning. All right, so good morning, everybody. Let some of y'all, let some of y'all get in here and we will start the day. Let y'all, let y'all get on in here. Get on in here. Uh, if you're gonna share, this would be the time to do it. Share it out, share it out. And uh, we uh, will start very shortly. <coughs> It's kind of one of those things. Come on in, find a seat, get a chair, get your cup of coffee, share it out, and um, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So I have a hard time. I'm having a hard time picking out who's going to be my most positive person of the day. Uh, who wins most positive person of the day? I'm having trouble figuring it out. Got a couple good submissions. So, you just some hot chocolate. Cool, cool. There will always be someone. Okay, we got we got Courtney, and we got Debbie. Uh, and I don't think I missed anyone. Wait, oh, and Shelly. So we got Courtney, Debbie, and Shelly today. And I'm gonna let you guys decide on which one you like the best. So Courtney, Debbie, and Shelly. That's Barbie walking around the background. She's uh she's still here. Uh and my kid is here somewhere, but she hasn't made her 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 appearance. Uh let's see who's in here. Morning Tricia, morning Danny. Uh morning Vance. Coffee and a vape, absolutely. Uh good morning, Donna. Morning, Joshua. Yeah, we all need our we all need our, our coffee and our nicotine early in the morning. At least I do. Or I'll go crazy. Can y'all hear me good? The audio okay today? Because it doesn't sound right in my ears for some reason. Probably because I'm not wearing my hearing aids. <laughs> uh, I didn't put them in yet this morning. If y'all don't know, I'm as I'm 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 partially deaf. I have to wear hearing aids in both of my ears. Uh, in order to hear pretty much damn near anything, uh, even with the earphones on, I still have trouble hearing. So I literally just woke up about 15 minutes ago, like 15 minutes ago, I came into the world of the living and I'm not happy about it yet, but I didn't do my seven o'clock live, live feed. I've been pushing, pushing the time back a little bit every day. And if you notice, I don't have it up on the thing anymore. You want to come say hi? Come say hi. Now you have to watch that bar. See the bar on the bottom down there? It's moving. When you say hi, if that bar doesn't move, then maybe they didn't hear you. Hi. Okay, they heard you. Okay. All right, good deal thing. All right, so everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, good morning. Got I do have coffee. I have a cup. Uh, my daughter brought me a cup. Look, I have a cool cup. You can't see it. It's camouflage. It's like I'm drinking invisible coffee. Ah, all right. So on our positive stuff this morning, good morning, Chris. On our positive stuff this morning, we have uh, Shelly, Debbie, and Courtney. 
So we have Courtney, Debbie, and Shelly that sent um, positive quotes in this morning, or yesterday, or this morning. And we have to figure out who is going to be the top positive person of the day. So let's let's start off with uh, Shelly. Shelly said, sent off a positive quote, and it says, if you are searching for that one person that will change your life, look in the mirror. Pretty good. Pretty good. You guys like that? Heart that. Okay. Heart that up. If you're searching for that one person that will change your life, look in the mirror. So that comes from Shelly Connor. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay. So Debbie sent in, Debbie sent in, uh, and this is Debbie Drake. The pain you feel today can be the strength you feel tomorrow. That's just pretty good too. Uh, that's pretty daggum good. All right. So heart that for Debbie. So there's a heart there for Debbie because that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And Courtney says, there will always be someone who can't, can, or should I say, cannot see your worth. Don't let it be you. And that's good too. That's good. So I've got three really good submissions this morning, and I don't know which one to pick for top positive. So let's say, let's do this. Let's take Courtney, Debbie, and Shelly. Let's just go by the way I read them. Shelly will be number one. Okay. Debbie will be number two and Courtney will be number three. Okay. So let's do, I'm going to read them again for you. One, two, or three, which ones do y'all think should be, which person do you think should be the top person of the day? Shelly, number one, if you are searching for that one person that will change your life, look in the mirror, type in one. If you like that one, the most Debbie Drake, number two, the pain you feel today can be the strength you feel tomorrow. It's Debbie Drake, number two. If you like that one, type two in the comments. And Courtney Haddon, number three. Uh, there will always be someone who cannot see your worth. Don't let it be you. All three of them are really, really good. So if you like number three the best, type in three in the comments. So I'll let you guys decide. One, two, or three. Which one do you want? Which person do you want to be the top... Um, positive person of the day who do you want to win we got a two we got a three we got two twos we got two threes oh it's a tie so far two and three you can't vote for both courtney so we got two 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 is winning right now two is winning right now all right three's tied up again three's winning now three's winning now three's winning now Oh wait, that's a that's three-way tie. That doesn't say three. So three, three is still winning. You didn't hear them, Jennifer? Okay, let's do it again. All right, Jennifer. So Jennifer can vote. Okay, three is winning right now. One is Shelly, and it is if you are searching for that one person that will change your life, look in the mirror. Two is the pain you feel today can be the strength you feel tomorrow. And number one, oh wait, back, oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Shelly was one. So one is if you're searching for that one person that will change your life and look in the mirror. Two is the pain you feel today can be the strength you feel tomorrow. And three, which is winning right now, there's some more threes. Uh, there will always be someone who cannot see your worth. Don't let it be you. So one, two, or three. Three is winning right now. Courtney, you've got the lead. Biggs is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Love my Biggs. That is the man. I'm telling you what. I love that. I love that man. I really do. I ain't afraid to say it. I love that man. No homo. <laughs> but no, I really do. I love Biggs the clown. Jason, you're a, you're an amazing person. I love you, brother. All right. So it looks like three is just just pulled away from everybody else. So I'm going to tell you number one, Shelly Connor. Number one. You are amazing and you are a winner in regardless. I love you very much. You're an awesome person. Thank you for sending that in. Debbie Drake, you are a winner. You are amazing. I love you very much. Thank you for pushing that in. And Courtney Haddon, you are my positive person of the day. You are the most positive person of the day. You've reached you've reached more people with your, your quote. But I want you to understand something. Each and every one of you are winners and you did reach me with your quote. So if you can just reach one person with something positive, you've done your job for the day. You've really stepped up and, and, and done something. 
So that's awesome. Courtney, you are my positive person of the day. But Debbie and Shelly, you both are my positive people always. Okay? So you all win. But Courtney gets the title for the day. If you would like to be the positive person of the day on the Abaddon Apollyon live feed, submit your, find, find a positive quote and send it to me. Send it to me in Messenger. Uh, and uh, and I will. I, you know what I didn't. You know what I didn't do. I didn't check my actual page to see if somebody messaged me on the Abaddon Apollyon page. Err, err, err. -er. I didn't do that this morning. So let me let me double check and make sure that I don't have some more hidden hidden um, positive people in the messenger. Hold on. Uh, nope. I think we're good. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So we only had those. Okay. Good. All right. If you'd like to be a, uh, if you'd like to be one of the top positive people, I'm trying to get all these links up. Holy crap! This is taking forever. Oh, why did they do red link account? What the shit? That's weird. Ugh. I like cut and pasted this and it and it went to relic. Did you see that? What the hell's going on here? There we go. Okay. There is my chat Facebook, okay? That is my profile where you can come and chat with me on, on, on my actual profile. All right, so that's where you're going to submit it to. If you want to be the most popular per, or you want to be the most popular person, listen to me. Uh, the, if you want to be the top positive person on the live feed for tomorrow, then go to that, friend me up, and send me in the inbox, send me your most positive quote that you that, that means something to you today. Okay? You needed to hear all three today? Absolutely, you did. Yeah, we all did. We all did. Biggs, I love you, brother. I don't know if you were in here when I said it earlier, dude. You're you're amazing, and I love you. Everybody, go. If you don't know who Biggs is, you guys have got to got to sit there and talk to Biggs. The dude is amazing. Scurvy's in here too. Hey, Scurvy, I love you. Yeah, you. Uh, you hear? Caden even says she loves you, Biggie. Everybody loves the Biggs. Everybody loves the Scurvy. Daddy All right. Biggie. Yeah, we love the Biggs. All right, so I've got to go back to Messenger, and I'm going to read these one more time out for everybody. Uh, good morning, Scurvy. We love this Scurvy. All right, so Shelly Connor wrote or sent in, if you're searching for that one person that will change your life, look in the mirror. Absolutely. Um, you know, guys, I talk about it all the time. Hold on a second. Hey, close that door. I don't know to see your butt. Thank you. All right. So, I, you know, I say if you want to see somebody that's amazing and strong, then um, uh, look in the mirror because after everything you've been through, you're still standing. So that falls right in line with that, which is really cool. I really like that. So thank you so much again. Once again, Shelly Connor, thanks you for submitting that. Uh, Debbie Drake, who I absolutely adore. She has been here every day, every day. She's an amazing person. Uh, said the pain you feel today can be the strength you feel tomorrow and that is absolutely true and I want you to think about this for a second um, The pain you feel today what you're going through today that hurts you and, and it causes sorrow in your heart Could be the strength you need in the future to help someone else that is going through the similar situation You know, what I mean it could become your strength your rock to help someone else and really push forward and that's an amazing quote So thank you so much Debbie for sending that in and Courtney is my most positive person of the day. She won the little thing when you guys voted. You just ever you voted it out of the water. It was crazy. Uh, there will always be someone who cannot see your worth. Don't let it be you. And that is absolutely true. Every one of you are an amazing person. You, you have talents. You have worth. You have things that you can do that you're good at. Don't let anybody else dull your shine. You understand what I'm saying? shine bright and i probably got that in my head stuck in my head from the movie yesterday i watched uh we went and watched um uh dr sleep yesterday which is the second part of the shining you know the old, the old movie shining jack nicholson oh man and i really liked it i really enjoyed it some people are probably not gonna like it because it is a very long drawn out movie 
but in the retrospect of old horror movies in the retrospect of like the shining for example it is an amazing movie i liked it so i really enjoyed it so that's kind of cool so hello everybody that's new to the room or just coming in please share this out and let's get some people in we uh we already did the positive person of the day which is courtney courtney Haddon has won that little privilege for the day but don't think uh just because you didn't win today there shelly or debbie that you shouldn't send me some more stuff in for tomorrow okay that top supporter contest is coming up next year. I'm thinking about it every time somebody says stuff, you know. It was good. I liked it. I haven't heard about it yet. Oh, yeah, it was. The Doctor Sleep. It's the second part of The Shining, and I loved it. Yeah. Yep. I liked it a lot. I'd definitely say go watch it. Courtney, did you hear that you won this morning? You're the most positive person of the day. Oh, there it is. There's the first roar. Roar of a duck. <laughs> there you go. You got your roar. But if y'all don't know, every time somebody says roar in here, I have to say roar is a duck. Roar, roar, I'm a duck. I'm so tired. I haven't, I've only, I'm on my first cup of coffee. So I'm doing all right. I'm on my first cup of coffee and I got my vape. We we did the we did the most positive person in the morning. I, I don't have any of my quotes up or anything yet, so I'm like falling behind. Uh, we have uh we my, my daughter is here as y'all saw earlier. She was in the background. Um my daughter's here and we are going to be playing with some Legos and doing some games today. Um I slept in a little bit. That was her right there. Whatever she said. I don't know what she said because I'm not wearing my hearing aids, but yeah. Uh, they have three of the stars of Dr. Death at TFW 2020. I have no idea what that means, but okay, hell yeah. Merished, merished. Liz says merished. Everybody has to send me a dollar now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish it worked that way. Wouldn't it be really nice if it worked that way? Because every time someone said moist, everybody had to send me a dollar. Everybody in the United States. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, every, everybody in the United States, period, has to send me a dollar because someone said moist. Moist, duh. That means somebody has to send me two dollars. Everybody's got to send me two dollars. I'm just kidding. What? Moist, duh. Moist, duh. I don't find this like one more. I know, right? Moisture. Moisture. <laughs> Moisture, yeah. That's, that's, the whole, that's the whole funny. That's why I think it's so funny because everybody goes moist. Duh, I'm like moisture. Moisture. Rawr, I'm a wolf, I'm a shovel. I you know what? I love James Kirby. I'm gonna tell y'all what, I'm gonna brag on Scurvy for a second. Let me let me pull this up, okay, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who Scurvy the Clown is, you need to go click on that name right there, Scurvy. James Kirby, go click on it, go follow him, do all that good stuff. But I'm fixing a brag on Scurvy. Scurvy is absolutely scurvy and sicken, both of them. But Scurvy's absolutely amazing because Scurvy's in here right now, sicken's not so get you sicken just kidding i love sicken scurvy is sitting at fifty four thousand one hundred fans on tiktok fifty four thousand one hundred fans on on tiktok with three hundred and forty four thousand four hundred likes it's, listen to those numbers holy crap 54,100 fans and 344,400 likes on Facebook, I mean on TikTok. And if you go watch the videos, if you go to TikTok and you go to Scurvy the Clown, S-C-U-R-V-Y-T-H-E-C-L-O-W-N, Scurvy the Clown, common spelling, okay, Scurvy the Clown, find them on TikTok, check it out. I'm telling you some of the funniest and coolest videos I have seen. Now, Scurvy, I've been working on transitions and I'm working on getting my stuff up to par too. Uh, and I have jumped again, yet again. I am now at 4,570. Uh, so 4,570 fans, nowhere near the 45,000, but I have the 45. Okay, so we're in the 45 club. <laughs> Uh, I, I'll, I'll get there. What's up? Yes, you look beautiful. You've done your makeup, right? Sally Forth, I'm alive. Go do your thing, I'm alive. No, you need to go. I'll show you later. Go, go. Thank you. 
I don't need any creep. I don't, I don't need any creeps or any freaks watching you. So go. On. Barbie's chilling. Go. On. All right. I had to get rid of the child who's very hard headed. Huh? What? Of course she takes after her dad. I'm very hard headed too. Okay. So let's see here. Death Bone Entertainment is in here. Good morning, Death Bone Entertainment. What's happening? Uh, no, uh, what do you need popcorn for? Yeah, James, yes, yeah, Kirby's amazing. Uh, follow me on that. Uh, thank you, Shana. Thank you very much. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, mess, oh, sickens asleep. No, I'm quit being freaking lazy. Dad gummit. Hit him with a shovel. Uh, hey, does he know Spanish? Uh, no, hable, wait, hable espanol poquito. Uh, muy poquito. Uh, so, hable espanol muy poquito. Um, so let's see here. Doing more TikToks tonight. Awesome. Yeah, I gotta, I'm, I'm growing my beard for a little, for a little bit. It's no shave November, so I'm not going to be getting in, into full face. I'm going to half face. Uh, like I did the other day with the red makeup. So I'll be doing some stuff like that. Um, blah, 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 blah. if you follow me on TikTok and you would like me to do a video with you or do that with you or, or whatever, message me, message me on TikTok, send me a message, shoot me over what sound bite you'd like me to do or whatever, or whatever message, whatever video you have, you would like me to do it. Let me know and I'll check it out. Um, I can hear myself. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I never muted the thing this morning. All right, so we've gone over the top positive person of the day, which Courtney Haddon won. But like I said before, Shelly and uh, Shelly Connor and Debbie Drake both are winners too in my mind or in everybody's mind because you guys are awesome. Keep keep submitting. Uh, my my personal Facebook page is is pinned there. Add me as a friend. And send me your most positive quote, and you could be the most positive person of the day on our thing feed too. Okay, so now we've done all that. Happy birthday, Kevin. Who's Kevin's birthday? Hey, popcorn's in the house. That's what you're saying. Popcorn's in the house. I got you. Hey, popcorn. Hi, Darren. How you doing? Good to see you, sir. Much love to popcorn. All right, I'm going to scroll way down on this because we've done a lot of the top ones. We're actually going to go to some of the lower quotes that... Uh, I still liked, but I didn't, they didn't, they weren't profound to me at the time. Doesn't mean they won't be profound to me today. That's the most, that's something that I've always liked most about quotes and about sayings and stuff like that is something might, you might read something one day and be like, eh, and then read it three days later and be like, oh my God, I needed that. You know what I mean? Do, 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 do. Oh, this one's good. Okay, so here's a here's a good one. Um, and uh, meow, raw Uh, Jennifer Dome. Who else coming to ADHD? Multitasking all the time. Heck yeah. Good morning, Poppy Popcorn. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I know who I am, who I am not, and who I want to be. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I hurt people. But when I say sorry, I mean it. So that's that's actually pretty dadgum good uh, for me. I know who I am, who I am not, and who I want to be. It's three different three different mindsets. Uh, One hundred percent, three different mindsets on a person. You know who you are right now. You know who you are not right now. You know who you, you know. I've changed. I've changed from the person I used to be, and you have too. And you know who you want to be. You're not done changing. So, you know, you think about, we, um, uh, Heather brought up the other day about the trees and the seasons, how they lose everything. They lose all their leaves, but in the spring, they come back bigger and better. Um, we're the same way, you know, uh, we are not the people that we were yesterday. We're not the people that we're going to be tomorrow, but we are the person that we are today. So in all your decisions and trying to be a better person, you have to focus on what you are today remember who you were before and aspire to be better tomorrow but the only thing you can truly work on is who you are today so it's it's literally you know i look at some of these these 
uh, psychological groups and stuff like that that uh, you know uh, do stuff and, I, and they have a lot of good meanings like let's just say like uh, group therapy or AA or NA or any of those and I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic or a narcotics anonymous person but I, I, I really like reading about their guidelines and stuff like that because they have some really good messages in them and um, well the thing is is, is you have to work on everything in life on a daily basis. Sometimes you have to work on life by hourly basis. Sometimes you have to work on life on a minute to a minute basis. It depends on how your day is going. So if your day is just rolling around and you're cleaning the house and you can work on it hour by hour, you know what I mean? Or day by day, you can just clean your house, get on the mood, put on some music, get on going, blah, 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 blah. If you're working in a little bit tougher situation where you're at work and you're dealing with clients, different clients all the time, stuff like that, you might have to deal with an hour by hour or a minute by minute. Uh, but the whole idea is you have to get up and you have to handle your your situations uh, situational, at, at situation at a time. You feel what I'm saying? So to, to be a better person, to be more positive in this life, to get rid of the negativity, there's a lot of big cuts and big builds that you have to do, but there's also a lot of smaller steps that you have to keep in mind. So for example, um, you might have to get rid of all of the negative people in your life. You might have to get, you know, hey, you know what? You're a temporary, I just realized that you're a temporary person, you're not a permanent person in my life, and it's time that, you, that your, your temporary status is expired. It's time for you to move on. You might have to get rid of these people these negative people out of your life to gain more positive people in your life so you can move forward and that's okay you might have to get rid of people that you love you absolutely love but once you realize that they are temporary people then it's okay you'll 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 make it so good morning Mungie. good morning I absolutely love Mungie. yeah yeah you got to get up for this Mungie's in the room yeah I absolutely love Mungie. uh Mark's in the room too good morning Mark love Mark too get up for that one <laughs> that's barbara i love mungie that's barbara i know i love mungie too we already said that we said that like four times <laughs> she's like all excited yeah. mungie came in the room oh my god oh my god you didn't get excited because scurvy came in the room oh, oh. Oh, you, no. scurvy comes in a lot though i love yeah mungie, scurvy does mungie doesn't come in mungie, hardly at all mungie yeah mungie comes in every once in a while i'm I, you know that no well yeah I'm, I like Munji. Munji likes me. We are fans. We fans. Now she's getting the chair. She's coming here. So she, she's like, look at me, Munji. Look at me. She's like, I'm single. My name is Barbara. Okay. And I like you, Munji. That's what she's doing. She, 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 she jumped right, right into the chair. Let's not get crazy. That's funny. All right. So where was I? You weren't paying attention? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're fired. I got a so why, why do I even hire people anymore? They don't ever pay attention. I paid you in food. Oh, good gosh. Anyway, all right. So I know who I am. I know who I am not. And I know who I want to be. So don't live in the past. Learn from it. Don't, don't live in the future, but aspire to be better. Be the person you are today and be the best version of you that you can be. Make sense? Yep. That makes sense, okay. What? She's still freaking out that Mungie's in the room. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like, I'm gonna add Mungie. Mungie, Mungie, do me a favor. Oh, he said, look, he says, I see you, Barbara. I know. He sees you. I see you. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, that's the best way to start a better you is getting rid of toxic people who are bringing you down. Absolutely, Trisha, you are 100% right. That is the first step. I've got to find the devil horn, rubber duck, abaduck. What? I have one. I actually have the devil horn, rubber duck. The little one that's about this big. I have one, and I think it's in the truck. I don't know. I haven't thought about that thing in years, but I have one. I, it, you know what? It's probably still sitting on the top of the antenna of the truck. Yeah. Ha ha, just a bit. Ha ha, you, you can see her, you can see her eyeball. Huh?
You haven't met you haven't met Mungie yet? Alright, so Mungie, one thing that I'm gonna try to do, all of you, Scurvy Tooth, Kill to Fools, Cult of Fools members uh only. Um I am going to try to set up with Q and Chris and the other Cult of Fools members. I wanna try to get us all to a convention in twenty twenty together. Uh Cult of Fools uh group. I wanna try to get all of us together at the same convention is one of my goals. Um so I'm hoping that I can make that happen. I'm gonna start putting all that together. Uh, Chris and Q have already said, hell yeah. So they're, they're game. I've gotta start talking to people individually and finding out when the best time might be and see if we can make this happen for next year. Good, go on dog. Um, we're gonna try our best to make that happen uh, and get everybody. So we also, I know that more people are fixing to be added. Um, to the Cult of Fools too. So that's gonna be kinda cool. He's working on some drawings right now. But I'm hoping that we can get all of the Cult of Fools members that have been drawn to the same convention in 2020. Uh, we could be Optimus Clown, oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Hold on, I got this. Uh, with all of our own, that's too much. Let me turn that down there like that. With all of our powers combined, we could become Optimus Clown. <laughs> I got that. I, I can do that. I can do that. Roar. Roar, Roar. All right. So you have to throw in the reverb if you're going to say something like that. You know what I mean? You got to really, really dig it in. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, Courtney, I don't make mat. Well, I mean, I do make some masks for myself, but I, I, I get all my masks from Chris FX or I get my foam latex appliances from rubberware and scream team. And then I put the two together, uh, and make my face. So my face that I normally wear is all, um, foam latex appliances or the Chris FX masks, which is up there on the wall. I got a, I got a bunch of them. All right, so let's see what we got going on. All right, so we have talked about our positive thing. We got our positive person of the day, right? We've talked about our positive quotes. We said hi to everybody. It was 8.46. We started after 8, so we got a little bit longer. All right, so let's do our, our, our regular stuff. Let's see who else has messaged me. Okay. So... Cultofools.com and Spencer's Gifts. Spencer's Gifts has really just dropped the ball 100% on this release of the shirts in a lot of the stores. Um, if you're going to go buy a shirt from Spencer's Gifts, please call, call them first and verify that they have them. Well, they're supposed to have them. Every store in the United States is supposed to have them. But if they do not have them, don't fret. Go to Cultofools.com. Up there. Go to Cultofools.com. That will take you to Big Chris Arts and you can purchase uh, one of the many Cult of Fools items. Also, Sinister Fables and a bunch of other things. There's a lot of stuff that you can get. It's an awesome store. Um, and of course, I want you to buy an Avedon Apollyon shirt, which is like she's wearing right now. She's, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a message in the way. Hang on. Yeah. Do that again. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wait, just lean up. Look at that one over there. Yeah. There you go. An Abaddon Apollyon shirt. You can get you an Abaddon Apollyon shirt from Spencer's there. Gifts. or, But I say just go to cultofools.com and order them from there. Uh, Mungie even has one. I have a picture of Mungie in an Abaddon shirt, which is like totally amazing. I missed his dadgum live feed on it, which upset me. But it was, I have work and sleeping and stuff. Yeah, Spencer's is just... So go to cultofools.com. Right up there. Cult of Fools. Big Chris Hearts. And uh, order your shirt today. And you'll get it in your mail and then you can send me a picture of you wearing shirt I don't care who it is send a picture if you buy a stitches shirt send me the picture. I'll send it over to him be awesome uh, do, 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 do. Cult of Fools links on my page as well. Yeah, death bone will have it on his page as well Yep, James Kirby sent me an Abaddon. I was, dude. I look I don't I don't know if you know this or not But like I I squealed like a little girl when I saw James Kirby in my shirt I was like well, are you serious and then Mungie did it too. I was like oh my god. Yeah. I was like oh my god. I was I was excited. Yeah 
Yeah. Anybody that anybody that works with me uh, at the Abaddon Apollyon LLC crew uh, with my with my actual company, which is Abaddon Apollyon LLC, uh, will tell you I squealed like a little girl. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, that was awesome. And I, I have um, I have definitely a place when I'm I'm working on building my future home, my my forever home. We're trying to find the land now. Once I find the land that I want, we will be building it. I have in my, my my designs in the blueprints. I have an area, an entire wall, dedicated just for the canvas art of the Cult of Fools members. Yes, you're gonna have a big bedroom too. All right, get out of here with a fireplace. With a fireplace? Yeah, our bedroom has a fireplace. All right. Do 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 do. I'm in alignment with the announcement yesterday. I have an announcement for Abaddon coming soon. Oh, excellent. Yes, there's a bunch of good stuff coming on with Deathbone Entertainment with uh, Mard, Mark Hardtop, who is a published writer. You can check Mark Hardtop up on uh, Amazon. You can find his book. Uh, here, oh, oh, I need a shout out here. You can get his book, which I have already bought right here. You can get it off Amazon. And it is 13 from the mind of Hardtop. And it is, it's really cool. It's its little 13 little horror stories, short horror stories. It's really cool. It's not that expensive. It's like $6, I think, is what I paid for it. Um, ship direct to your house from uh, Amazon. And to be continued, it has them on the back. It's really cool. So go buy that. Go to, go to Amazon and get your copy of 13. I almost dropped it. Dang, damn it. 13 from the mind of hardtop so go check that on amazon get that it's an amazing it's awesome he's a good writer okay so got him coming out with stuff you got popcorns coming out with some i saw him said something the other day but he's coming up with something too you're blocking my heat by the way i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm fine i'm fine i'm actually gonna are you too hot did it turn off oh, here it's that button right there okay uh, first live video with Abaddon. I had to hand the phone to my daughter. I know. <laughs> uh, oh, that's really cool. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you announce that. But that's really cool. Uh, announce that whenever you feel like it, sir. All right, let's see. Who else has got some stuff coming up? Uh, Marsh got some good stuff. Death, uh, Death Bone has got stuff coming up. Pop, Poppy's got some stuff coming up. Scurvy's going to be doing some more TikToks tonight. Um, I think that's it, really, right? The out, the, the upcoming stuff. If you've got something outcoming that you would like me to talk about, or upcoming that you'd like me to talk about during my show, just let me know. Inbox me, and I'll be happy to do that. Okay, so let's go over the numbers real quick. We haven't gone over the numbers today on Ticket Talk. Ticket Talk. Ticket Talk. Ticket Talk. Ticket Talk. Ticket Talk. Our uh, top video is still sitting at 52,000 views, 52,000.9. So we've kind of capped off on that. It's kind of gotten buried down to the thing. Uh, the next, and we've got a few that are over 10,000. This is really nice. So we have 4,573. We are up another couple hundred followers. And we're up to 20,000 likes on the, on the TikTok. So TikTok, Monster Abaddon, down there, Monster Abaddon, down at the bottom, Monster underscore Abaddon. Go check us out on TikTok. Give us a follow and share out anything and everything that you like. Please go look and heart everything that you see. And position. And that is the wrong page. Okay. So yeah, do me a favor. Go check it out. And when you're scrolling through the videos on TikTok, make sure you heart each one because each like counts as a as helps me get on up there. You know what I mean? We really appreciate that. It's also monster underscore Abaddon on Instagram and on Twitter. Now I am never on Twitter. So if you send me something on Twitter, you're going to have to shoot me a message over on Instagram or on Facebook to let me know that you sent me something on Twitter because I don't even have the notifications on. I just never go over there. It's so politically bound up that I'm just like, or it's either politics or porn. It's like, pff, I don't even enjoy going there anyway. TikToks, getting shirts made up, wristbands, and getting posters in the work. James Scurvy has some good shit coming on too. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. What? Oh, I missed, I'm at some. So Scurvy's got some stuff coming out too. That's really awesome. So follow James Scurvy. Follow Biggs the Clown, ladies and gentlemen. Biggs the Clown has some stuff coming out yet that he doesn't even know because I haven't pushed him yet. But I'm going to make, I'm going to, Biggs has got some stuff coming out too. <laughs> I just haven't told him yet. <laughs> All right. So we got, uh, we got a lot of good news. The, the, the community is stronger than ever. 
the love with each other is is just amazing uh joyster's in the house good morning joyster thanks for coming uh y'all follow joyster joyster has done a fantastic job of i think of coming to the dark side uh i really enjoyed his last live feed it was really good it was yeah he, he did a really good job his lights didn't he, you know he had an issue with his lights i talked to him afterwards uh some of his lights didn't work but he still he did a fantastic job oh and that reminds me courtney hadden uh courtney has a character and she did a live feed that was amazing her very first live feed and she rocked it she had like 20 something people in her room That's cool. yeah yeah scurvy's tiktoks do crack yeah they crack the shit I, 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 they're hilarious yeah absolutely i've done some um some duets with with uh with scurvy there I, I, that's just fun it's just fun tiktok is just fun so anyway yeah some some awesome stuff going on in the community um i have seen lately that there's been some animosity among people again again and i just want to remind you guys that that happens and it's okay you know just continue being the person that you need to be and let everything else sort itself out all right you guys are amazing i love the fact that you you support so many different people from so many different platforms and, and i'm i'm really really love the fact that you guys spend time in our rooms watching our lives and conversing with us so you guys are amazing and i love y'all uh courtney's has over 600 views now that's awesome that's awesome first first time first time feed that's really awesome uh well, they're out there, Jane uh, Scurvy. I put up a bunch of extra videos the other day. I put a bunch of videos that are um, that were just for duets that haven't got any traction. Um, yeah, Poppy talked to Courtney. Y'all work that out. Oh my God, troubles just came in the room. <laughs> I knew I smelled thoughts. Oh God. I need more coffee before I can deal with troubles. Oh my God. Troubles, you know what happened? Look, troubles, troubles, troubles. Barbie will tell you. I, yesterday, I went to bed. I forgot to turn my swag off. This morning, I woke up covered in bitches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's covered. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Good morning, troubles. Good morning. I'm glad to see you here. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of good stuff going out here now and I'm and I'm really thankful for each and every one of you fans You guys are amazing. You make this all worth it um, <laughs> Oh damn troubles <laughs> uh, I know nothing but trouble but. nothing but trouble, you know what I did to him uh, guys I, I'm gonna tell you all a story uh, Let me tell you what I did to troubles at creepy con All right, so we were at the uh, after party doing his vid music video and stuff for his for his you know song one of his songs when we were doing his music video and i kept finding like really good looking girls and i would send them over to troubles to tell troubles that another girl was looking for him and had him running around the bar looking for fictitious women all night long <laughs> <laughs> like all night long it was hilarious and the more i drank the more i made him run <laughs> it, it was it was i had me giggling what i'm i'm doing a live i will be with you in just a few minutes and we will play together okay i love you uh -huh. <laughs> yeah so yeah um why did you make it sound like i'm difficult Diva, he's not difficult troubles is an amazing person i i actually do really love that guy to death um if i didn't i wouldn't support him as much as i do but i do but yeah, I totally ran. I had chicks running up to him. Hey, so and so's looking for you, or Abaddon's looking for you, or Abaddon, or this girl's looking for you. And I had him running the bar all night long looking for fictitious people. And every time somebody would say Abaddon's looking for you, I would run somewhere else. So he would be like, oh, he's over there. And then he'd go over there, and I'd be sitting on the other side of the bar where he was at in the first place. Like I was watching, it was hilarious. Uh, it was so much fun. But I made up for it because I paid the bar tab. So. <laughs> My bar tab was insane for creepy con. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. He says, Mungie, it was bad. No, it was <laughs> fun. It was fun. It wasn't bad. It was fun. Oh, uh, I had so much fun with him. Uh, guys, how was, uh, how was the movie? The movie was amazing, Tammy. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, let me scroll back up to the stuff here. 
Uh, we watched Doctor Sleep yesterday, which is the second part of The Shining with Jack Nicholson, right? But the Jack Nicholson, they had some other actor playing Jack Nicholson's role in, in this one, but he did a really good job. Uh, not only will Avedon be receiving a dollar from every book bought by a follower from here, but uh, the logo will be, an info will be added to my future books. There will be one, one more surprise that will be announced by Avedon in a later time. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. So yeah, if you guys buy the book that I showed you earlier, 13 from Mark, from Mark Hardtop on Amazon, and you send them a picture of you, uh, you're, you following me, like, you know, you go to my page that says following, you send him a picture of that and you buy his book. Um, he will shoot me over a dollar from each sale, which is amazing, which I really appreciate. Um, he's, and he's got some other stuff coming up too, which is really awesome. And the bomb, the, 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 the freaking book is the bomb for real. So check it out. Uh, I saw, just, I saw, uh, Josette say doc sleep was the bomb. And I read that as I was talking and it all came out perfectly. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. It is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, I see a con list. What did I miss in here? Uh, no, I paid my bar tab. Um, yeah, I know the bartender robbed you. No, I paid my bar tab, which was over $400. Okay. I don't know who all I got drinks for, but I bought drinks for people. Let me just say, um, what am I missing here? Uh, do, 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 do. Ticky ticks today. Joyster said he couldn't do this without you guys. Absolutely. Uh, truth. Uh, good morning, Troubles. Forget Troubles. We ain't talking to Troubles. We're talking to me. I'm just kidding. No, I love Troubles. Um, I'm pooping on company time. I bet you are. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. I have my tickets and hotel booked to where? I, I am missing something about a con. Uh, uh, what con are we talking about? Uh, Mungie, where, where, what do you have booked? And uh, Jerry Rush last night, sister. What am I? I'm trying to find this comment. What con is uh, they talking about? Texas primarily booked three stars from Dr. Sleep. I know, Josette, I really want to go to. I'm so hoping I can make Tex Texas Fright this year. It is on my schedule. Do you have a con schedule yet? I have kind of a con schedule. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm at Texas Primary. I'm, I, dude, I really want to go. I, it's so on my list. Um, right now, the only thing that I have as a positive 100% is uh, Haunt Con in New Orleans in January, Mad Monster Party North Carolina in February, and then Mad Monster Party in Arizona in June. Um, <coughs> I have a film, another film that I'll be doing starting next year. Um, and it's a big production. And it'll be overseas in here. It'll be back and forth between the two. And I'm not sure exactly where they're going to have me filming yet or when they're going to have me filming. Uh, but I did submit Haunt Con and the two Mad Monsters with the film, with my management, management with the filming company. So they know I will not be able to film those days when I'm on those. So I have to, uh, I have to get a little more information. But I really want to go to Horror Hound uh, with Scurvy and Sicken. That's one of the ones I want to hit. I want to hit uh, Texas Fright Mare. Uh, I definitely want to hit that one. And then there was one more and I can't remember the name of it and I can't find my list. I've, I've got to get with my management have me have him send me back over the list. But there was one more that I was really looking forward to. So I'm hoping to make Texas Fright Mare. Uh, which I have somebody talking to them right now about me. You can see my, they might hire me, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then um, but I will be at both Mad Monster parties and I'm in Haunt Con. That is for fact. And then I'm going to try for Horror Hound Weekend and Texas Frightmare. But there's a couple more too. Uh, I have to go pick up my niece and do some babysitting. All right. Have a great day, sir. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, do, 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 Arizona, yay, West Coast. Yes, I'll be in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. In, uh, you have to look at Mad Monster. Oh, Mad Monster, North Carolina will be in February and it is the big one. It is awesome. Um, I've been talking to them. Horror Hound, I'm working on that. Um, bring Scurvy to Arizona with me. That would be awesome. Yeah, Scurvy could be my travel partner. Um, yeah, there, there's just some of the conventions are just so amazing. And I've worked with the Mad Monster uh, Party before. And uh, as a matter of fact, I did the last one was in uh, Phoenix, Arizona last year in June. And that's where me, Big Chris, and Q got together. 
and uh, I met them. So there are some really good things that can come out of conventions. Um, for example, Cult of Fools. Cult of Fools came out of a convention, basically, you know? So it's pretty awesome. I met them, we talked, blah, 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 blah. Here we are, you know, half a year later, rocking it like a, like rocking it, making it happen. So we are gonna be working on solidifying a better con schedule for me the 2020 once I get the schedule for filming because the film, doing the film is what makes my, my big money for the year. That's what I pay, pay all my bills with for the year. Uh, you'll go to Arizona, it's next door to you. Oh, absolutely, all right, well, book your, book your, book your thing. It's, uh, it's Mad Monster Party, Arizona, it'll be in Phoenix, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, there's one in Oklahoma City too that I was looking at, but I can't guarantee that I'm gonna be there yet because it's so close to the Phoenix, Arizona one. And I have to work, I have to film, you know what I mean? I have to make that money. Gotta make that money. All right, so let's see. We talked about TikTok, Monster underscore Abaddon. Instagram, same. Uh, Twitter, the same. You message me on Twitter though, don't expect a reply. <laughs> you have to message me on one of the other platforms and say, hey, I messaged you on Twitter or I'll never see it. <laughs> so, uh, official Abaddon Apollyon, on Facebook, please share out my stuff. If you see something you like, share it out. And uh, let's get some more people in the uh, room. Now, one thing that, here, here's the latest thing I'm gonna say, and this is the big bomb release, big bomb thing. I'm going to start be, I'm going to start doing evening feeds. I'm still working on picking a time, and I'm thinking probably three times a week. So I'll do my morning feeds in the morning, and then I'm going to do evening feeds at least, I think, three times a week. I have to pick out what days because I don't want to overlap with someone else uh, and you know, that I respect. I don't mind overlapping people that I don't respect. <laughs> That's yeah, bad. Yeah. It's true, yeah. I mean, it's true, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, if I don't respect somebody, I don't care when their show is. You know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna watch it, I don't care. I mean, you can like them. I don't mind, I, like I say support, whoever you wanna support, support 100%. Like, love them, support them, do what you gotta do. Good. I do, anyway. do what? I do it anyway. That's right, you do it anyway. So, I am going to be starting an evening feed three nights a week. We're still working on figuring out what it is. Um, I plan on trying to do at least once a week, I'm gonna be in face of some sort, some sort of face. And we're starting my videos on the, the makeup tutorials and the prosthetic tutorials and so on and so forth. We are, I'm starting that up next month. So the month of December will be the first month of those videos releases. I'm actually starting to film them next week, but we won't release them, start releasing them until December because we're gonna put it, we're gonna film a few videos um, beforehand. So that way, if I have to skip a week or something happens, we can still put out a video on time. It gives me time to make a different video. So, you know how that works. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all. We're good to go. Um, if y'all have any questions and need anything, my, my Facebook is linked down there. Uh, down there, it's linked down there. Um, that is my personal Facebook that you can add me as a friend and you can message me whenever you want to. All right, we've got, um, We've got some more exciting things being mentioned out pretty soon. Like, for example, we will be going more in, deep, in more in depth about the the vacation giveaway. Top support, Abaddon Apollyon, top supporter, vacation giveaway next year. A weekend in New Orleans, airfare and hotel paid for. You'll be you'll have to pay for your own food and drink. Um, the top supporter. To get a jump start on that, all you have to do is go to AbaddonApollyon.com, which is right there. Go to AbaddonApollyon.com and click on the Patreon and become a subscriber. $5 a month gets you a little little jump start into that. So, oh yeah, we have a vacation giveaway next year. We have two, two, Mungie, two vacation giveaways. The first one will be for a weekend in New Orleans with me um, uh, and a few other people. I'm working on getting some other actors down here as well. So I will pay for the airfare and hotel to New Orleans for the weekend uh, to the top supporter of, of the time frame. So when that contest starts, 
till where it ends. The top supporter will get a free vacation. Uh, they'll just be, they'll have to pay for their food and their drinks. I'll pay for airfare and hotel. The second contest we'll be doing next year is going to be a con giveaway. I'm going to pay airfare, hotel, and con tickets to a con convention that we're going to be at. So, like, for example, if if it, may, it might be Mad Monster Party Arizona, it might be, it might be something else. I don't know. It, it, but there will be a convention that I'm going to be at, that I'm going to work on getting other people at, and we're going to pay for airfare, hotel, and con entrance uh, to the top supporter for the second round. So that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the two contests next year. It's top supporter. Like I said, to get a jump on that, just go to abaddonapollyon.com, scroll down Patreon, five dollars a month, and that gets you on the supporter list. Then top supporter for the time frame will win the vacation. So fun, lots of fun coming out, lots of stuff to be do. What? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poppy, Poppy's like, I'm winning that. I got that shit. I'm just saying. All right. Exactly. You know, no, no, they need to try because that's because everybody needs to try. That's how, how I'm affording to do this shit. Okay. So, yeah, we need, we need, we need people in the Patreon so I can afford to do this stuff. But, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's going to be great. Um, I already have a list of actors that are going to come down and hang out for that. So, it's going to be lots of fun. Uh, hails, yeah. All right, let's see. We got the we got the vacation next year, vacation giveaway next year, um, and I think in twenty twenty one I'm gonna give away a, a Pinto or a Chevette, <laughs> an L, a nineteen seventy eight LTD. I don't know. I, so, I'll find something. I'm gonna find something. Just I'm gonna find like the just the the best two hundred dollar car I can find. All right, and I'm gonna spray paint on it, and everything, or whatever, and then I'm going to raffle off that car. A rolls can hardly. Huh? A rolls can hardly. Yes, a rolls can hardly. <laughs> yep. Yep. Like a like a 1972 LTD or something. I don't know, something crazy. A Ford Pinto, a Chevy Chevette. I don't know, something stupid. A 1985 S10 with three wheels. <laughs> Must bring trailer to pick up. <laughs> Center blocks included. That's right. Oh gosh, yeah. So we're gonna be doing something like that too. So we got the vacation giveaways. We got all kinds of stuff. We're gonna have some. We're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> Scrappy said, "I'll throw in a shuffle." <laughs> you might need one. <laughs> Popcorn says Pinto's his. Pinto's his. Yeah. If I do a Pinto, it's his. Yeah. Popcorn likes Pinto's. Hell yeah. One of those old Chevy Vegas. If you find a 69 VW, there, actually, there was actually one right down the road the other day. I saw it. It's a, it was a 69 flat, you know, the flat window, the flat front window, uh, Super Beetle. That was pretty cool. I wanted too much money for it though. All right, guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. Thank you for supporting each and every one of these beautiful actors that are in here. James Scurvy, Joyster, Popcorn, Mungie, much love Mungie. Okay. Uh, Biggs the Clown, uh, Courtney's in here, Cherry Snot's in here. Thank y'all all so much. And if I miss somebody, I, I, I really do apologize, but I love each and every one of you guys. You are amazing. Uh, Courtney Haddon, top, 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 top. She's the top pro, uh, positive person of the day. So I'll give her some hearts out there. Uh, if y'all ever need anything, just give us a message. And remember, the people that are in the chat rooms with you are like-minded and will more than likely be happy to talk to you if you have any issues or anything. So much loves, much hugs. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Come tell them out. Come tell them we're out. You know, tell them we're out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Peace out. <laughs>